Hey guys, what's up? This is Tamara coming in for her week 19. Woohoo! 19 weeks gone. No, honestly, the time has flown by, guys. Like, four months and a week. Like, has it been four months and a week? Something like that. Two weeks. Four months and two weeks. And, yeah, it's just crazy the time, how it flies. Um, weigh in, weigh in this week, okay. I lost, well, last week, hold on, let me get it right. Last week I weighed in at 336.8 pounds. Um, and this week I weighed in at 333 pounds for a weight loss of 3.8 pounds for a total loss of 105 pounds. Yes, y'all, you heard me right. 105 pounds gone off my body. Mercy, Jesus. Seriously? Whew. No. I got to give God the praise, the glory, and the honor because he is at work in me. That is for sure. He's working overtime, <laughs> actually. I just want to thank him, thank God for it, and to lose 105 pounds, how does that feel? That feels great. It feels wonderful. I feel what a great feat I have accomplished. At the same time, it makes me sad. It makes me sad because I still have a long way to go. Yeah. Why did I wait so long? Why did I sit there and let myself get to 438 pounds? It must, I don't know, I don't know. But I thank God for the surgery. I thank God for the way he just put things into place so perfectly. He made everything work out. My surgery, the financing, um, my cousin being available, um, everything. Just my family, just, they supported me. I, I remember before, I would be so defensive with my mom about my weight. Anytime my weight came up, it's just, it was just with sour taste in my mouth and it was just me walking off and upset. And I remember when I finally told them I wanted to have surgery, I broke down to my mom. And I actually told her how much I weighed. I don't even think she knew how much I weighed. And just being honest, just being honest about my life and how miserable I was. Because I was good at playing off that I was okay, you know? I'm cool, like I'm big, but I'm I'm alright, you know, to everybody else, showing a good face, but I was suffering, so the only thing I regret is not doing this sooner, I wish I had done this before when I was trying to lose weight and the weight was creeping up and, you know, but you know, I believe that everything happens for a reason and in God's time and it was, it was just not the time before that, this was my time. And that's how I'm going on with my journey. This is my time. This is my time to lose the weight and to be healthy for my children. Um, I have some clothes, guys. I'm reading my notes, sorry. I have a bag of clothes from 438 pounds that doesn't fit me anymore that I cannot get rid of, guys. It's sitting in my closet. And it's like, I don't want to let it go. I don't know why. Deep down, do I think that I'm going to go back to 438? I better not. <laughs> I better not. And I will fight. I will fight for this because I spent my hard-earned money and to do all this. I sacrifice a piece of my body to do this. To have scars on my stomach. 
so I could lose this weight, so I can have the edge. You know, I don't want to make this a long video, but I gotta say to anybody out there who's watching that is in the valley of decision about having this surgery, you have come across this channel for a reason. Because I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you that it's worth it. It is absolutely worth it. With all the vomiting that I did at first, and how weak I was at first, I'm still weak a little bit. And all that I went through, all the mental battles and that I fought with myself, it is worth it. I am a hundred pounds, 105 pounds smaller because of the surgery. And I think four months ago, if I never had the surgery, I would probably be up in the maybe the 440s, touching 450s. Because that's how fast my weight was creeping up this last few months before I had my surgery. The weight was just getting hot, just oh my gosh, like. I have my in my diary I would I my we have a big scale at my job um that does wheelchair we have I work at a nursing home so they do wheelchairs and all that so it its capacity is pretty high so I used to weigh myself when I go to work and I would write it down in my diary and I'm telling you when I looked at it and it was falling my weight was just just it wasn't even creeping it was walking okay so I know I was heading for a fall anytime soon, okay? My knees, my knees were killing me. My back was sore, everything. And now my knees still bothers me because I think I've messed it up because of the weight. And, you know, but I don't feel miserable like I used to. I can look in the mirror and I love what I see. I love who I see. Before, mm -mm. it was just a glimpse. Just check if your teeth is all right. You're, you know, there's nothing in your nose, and you're out of there. But now I look and I say, yeah, I love you. I, I love me. Love what I see. I love my reflection. I'm still three hundred and thirty-three pounds, but I am way past, way far from where I, I was coming from. You know what I mean? Let me see how much time I. Okay. Okay, it's getting too long. Okay, so exercise. I am doing classes because I don't have the motivation to do it myself. My brother got me an elliptical trainer. I think I've used it a few times and uh, I just, I don't know. My girlfriend, Melinda, she said she's going to come and work out with me. She hasn't done that yet, so where are you at? Um, I'm going to be trying Zumba for the first time tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to that, and hopefully that will be a regular thing if um, if I like it, if I can handle it. I'm nervous, and I'm also excited. Um, so yeah, guys, that's it. I am 333 pounds this week, and I'm feeling good, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next video, and I'll see you smaller. Bye.